climate change is affecting very badly in South Asia, being a very sensitive and vulnerable region. And the water security and food security will be the one of the main fact, uh, impacts the entire South Asia region have. Uh, my name is Ranga Pallavala. I'm working as the, uh, the program team leader for NGO called Practical Action in South Asia. Five years I've been working on climate change adaptation and uh, resilience related activities. For example, the countries like Nepal, uh, Bhutan and Afghanistan in the Himalayan region, even in India, will have a severe water scarcity, mainly because uh, these countries depend on the glacier melt for, for their water supply. When the temperatures increases, I think definitely the, the glacier melt will increase and the available glaciers will diminish one day. So by that time, these countries will be left without water and how these countries survive, it's a huge problem. Especially the rainfall, uh, the pattern has become erratic. You get droughts uh, very frequently, you get floods very frequently, and you get other sort of things like pest attacks, uh, the health issues and seawater intrusion. All these issues are coming up. But it's gradual, so people don't see as very abrupt change in the environment. Since it's gradual, people don't really see it's a very serious issue. First, I think the countries like us, we need to adapt. Of course, for adaptation, we need sufficient amount of finances. And in the current uh, the climate change negotiations, I believe we can come up with appropriate financial mechanisms to support the countries in South Asia to come up with appropriate adaptation methods. But at the same time, we should not forget that every human being in this world have the responsibility to protect our environment, our Earth. So everybody needs to be responsible in terms of their emissions, in terms of their, the environment, the ecological footprint and all. Currently we are in an area called Habaradua in Gold District in the southern province of Sri Lanka. Seawater intrusion was not a new thing for these farmers. It was ha happening with the high tides in the, in, the re in the past as well. It's affecting directly the farming systems. The seawater intrusion will definitely increase the salinity of the soil and the water. So the current varieties that we use to cultivate is not tolerable for the saline conditions. So definitely it will affect the crop, uh, the quantity and the quality as well. Using a car is to affect my pocket, <laughs> that's one thing. On the other hand, it's definitely increased. I think we need to change our lifestyle. That's the, the most challenging thing that we have in, our, um, in front of the entire humankind. So I think we need to do something as individuals. So I think not using a car in a few years' time might, uh, you know, I, I will have a dignity to say, okay, I have done something to protect this world. Mm -hmm.